A rush hour march shuts down traffic on Lakeshore Drive. Protesters take to the streets from the north side to Wrigley Field, demanding action from police and the mayor to stop gun violence in Chicago. Good evening. I'm Erica Sarge. And I'm Rob Johnson. It was designed to highlight the discrepancies between the north and south side. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar live in Wrigleyville where the march ended this afternoon. Charlie. Rob and Erica, good evening. Yeah, the protest actually started on Lakeshore Drive, made its way here to Wrigley Field, where the Cubs are just wrapping up their game. Of course, Lollapalooza is also going on. There were about 300 Chicago police officers keeping roughly 150 protesters safe along the route. We're going to shut down Lakeshore Drive. Stop the killing! Stop the killing! Stop police killing! A group of about 150 protesters shut both lanes of Lakeshore Drive for about 15 to 20 minutes Thursday. And we making some noise because I know it's inconveniencing some people. So if they see that down there where we're trying not to do that, we're trying to be heard, then they need to listen. Odessa Riley lives in Englewood. She says she's tired of her seven year old granddaughter growing up around gun violence. Never forget Chicago. What do you want people to, to know about that sign? So everybody can be safe and mm -hmm. they can have a good time in Chicago. So they will have to hate Chicago. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Any and everything that black people ever got, we had to do just this for it. The goal of the march was in part to make people on the north side aware of gun violence on the west and south sides. We have created community in the streets of Chicago. The march left the drive, went down Belmont to Clark, ending up at Wrigley Field, where fans already inside the game looked on as the protesters arrived. Evan, you know there's going to be people who said you guys made a lot of noise, you disrupted traffic, you disrupted the Cubs game here, but what is it really going to accomplish? What do you say to those people? I picked this date for a reason, not only because it's a rush hour and not only because a lot of Palouse and the Cubs game, but August 5th is the 52nd anniversary of Dr. King's march to Marquette Park. And those organizers that I spoke with say they consider today a success, and it was only the beginning. Chicago police say there were no issues along this march today, and there were no arrests. We are live in Wrigleyville. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Charlie, thank you. And